To create equivalent fractions using a visual model, we're going to start with an example fraction of two-thirds. The model shown on the slide has three sections, and we're going to drag one of the pink columns on the left and stretch it so that it shades two of the three columns representing two-thirds. Next, we want to find an equivalent fraction, and to do this, we're going to take one of the lines below the model and drag it up over the model to create two rows. If you notice, the actual fraction you started with hasn't changed you've only split it into more pieces. So now, instead of having two out of three pieces that are pink, you now have four pink pieces out of a total of six pieces in the entire model. So the first equivalent fraction is four sixths. Next, we're going to move our line up a little bit so that we can add another line to create our second equivalent fraction. We're going to create three rows, and when we do that, we have an equivalent fraction of six ninths. Next, we're gonna shift the lines a little bit more to make four rows. When we do this, we end up with an equivalent fraction of 8 twelfths. Next, we'll make five rows for an equivalent fraction of 10 fifteenths. And finally, we'll make six rows for an equivalent fraction of 12 eighteenths. You've now created five equivalent fractions to two thirds. And again, if you look at your model, you haven't changed the amount of the shaded rectangle that you have. You've only changed how many pieces this shaded model is broken up into.